Hello everyone, Mr. Unknown here. Today we have an unusual story that raises more questions than answers. A story so bizarre, most would say this has to be fiction. This is the story of Miguel Jose Viana and Manuel Pereira de Cruz. And these are the events that unfolded on a bright summer day in the summer of 1966. On the afternoon of August 20th, 1966, a young boy was flying a kite on the Morro do Vintem in Niteroi, Rio de Janeiro, when he came upon the bodies of two deceased males and reported them to the authorities. The Morro do Vintem had difficult terrain and the police were unable to reach the bodies until the next day. When a small team of police and firefighters arrived, they encountered an odd scene. The bodies rested next to each other partly covered by grass. Each body wore a formal suit and lead eye masks, along with a waterproof coat. There were no signs of major trauma or any evidence of a struggle. Next to the corpses, police found an empty water bottle and a packet containing two wet towelettes. A small notebook was also identified, on which were written the cryptic instructions, 1630B at the specified location. 1830 ingest capsules after the effect protect metals await signal mask. The two men were identified as 32-year-old Manuel Pereira de Cruz and 34-year-old Miguel José Viana, two electronic technicians from Campos dos Goitacazes, a town several kilometers to the northeast of Rio de Janeiro. Following an investigation, police reconstructed a plausible narrative of the men's last days by retracing their last steps before their demise. On August 17th, Cruz and Viana left Campos dos Goitacazes with the stated intent that they needed to purchase some materials for work. Both men then boarded a bus to Niteroi and arrived at around 2.30 p.m. Evidence shows that the waterproof coats were purchased at a shop there and one bottle of water from a local bar. Upon being interviewed, the waitress from the bar described Miguel as very nervous and noticed he frequently checked his watch. That is the last time they were known to have been seen alive. It is presumed they went directly from the bar to the spot at which they were discovered. No obvious injuries were discovered at the scene, nor later at the autopsy, which took place weeks later. The coroner's office was very busy at the time, and when the autopsy was finally conducted, the internal organs of the two victims were too badly decomposed for reliable testing. Because of this delay, testing for toxic substances was not conducted. In later years, Pereira de Cruz's wife suggested both men dabbled in scientific spiritism. She also mentioned both men at the time were interested in contacting alien spirits and tried on multiple occasions with the help of their friend by the name of Elcio Gomez. She stated on one occasion, an electronic device the men had built together exploded in Pereira da Cruz's backyard. All three men tried this experiment again on the beach and claimed to have witnessed an explosion in the sky. Police followed more terrestrial leads as Pereira da Cruz's wife suggested that Gomez had fought with her husband prior to the situation which briefly made Gomez a suspect. Another story surfaced about a man claiming to have been a part of both men's case that had to do with robbery and murder after meeting at the spiritualism center, forcing both men to take poison. There have been many rumors and theories to this unusual event with many pointing towards UFOs and extraterrestrial contact. With the case being unsolved and many more questions than answers, Many still wonder the true events leading to Miguel and Manuel's unusual demise. <laughs> 